All right, guys, Boy 32 here checking out. So sitting here, got the uh, Creedzilla here with me. It has exactly 100 rounds through it. And one of the things that I wanted to do in this video is to show you guys this deal right here. This is the uh, endoscope that was sent to me by the company called Teslong. You may remember I used this a little while ago to show you the differences between the proof barrel and the Palmetto State Armory barrel. Well, the cool thing is, is one, we're going to do a thorough cleaning of the Palmetto State Armory barrel here in a few minutes. I'm going to put that on video as well. And we're going to use this stuff right here. This is the Bortec Ink Copper Remover. And we're also going to use some of this right here. This is their uh, carbon remover. This is powerful stuff. All right. And then finally, some of the hops. <laughs> okay, so what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you exactly what this is about. The Teslong Borescope. A lot of people were asking me about this, and I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Now, the cool thing that I like about this is that I can hook it up to my computer. I can actually record the video that comes off of this thing into the computer, and then I can put it into the videos that I'm showing you guys. That's huge for me. Also... It has a uh, USB 3.0 connection that you can hook to your telephone. So let's go ahead and open this thing up and I'll tell you about it. Now, I'm going to put a link down below in the description to my Amazon store so you can see it. But it comes with a nice long cable. I think this is probably about five foot long. You have a rheostat for the uh, lighting control. Here are your two USB uh, ports. You've got the 3.0 that connects directly into that guy right there, and then this will fold up and you can hook it into the regular micro USB port. We'll go ahead and close that right there. Now, that's just the wire portion. There are a there's five pin connection point right here, and here's the endoscope. Now, this is not just a flexible piece of wire like this. This is actually has memory. So it will hold out flat, as you can see right there. Now, let me bring it in a little closer so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, as you can see, on the end of the, the borescope, there's a 90 degree mirror. If that's clean, it will give you a perfect image. Now, you can remove that. And what that'll do is it'll give you a direct shot straight down the end, to the end of the barrel, just like that. And you can see there are little lights on the end of it. But what I like to do is go ahead and put that mirror back on there just like this. Well, that way it'll give you a partial image of the length of the barrel but then it really does a great job at giving you a direct shot at the lands and the grooves. Alright so it comes with some instructions just like that. I don't know I haven't read those. They're pretty much plug and play. Some alcohol prep swabs. But you're going to take the two ends right here. There are identification marks somewhere. There we go. Red and red. And just connect those in just like that. And I'm going to tighten this down just like this. Okay. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take the USB port and I'm going to plug that directly into my computer's USB port. Well, where's it at? She's right there. Okay. Then I'm going to go into my camera setting right here, and voila. We're going to go ahead, I'm going to change up my cameras. Ah, so, all right, so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to where it says it's going to flip the camera around from <laughs> that ugly thing right there, and then boom. Now we have this guy right here. Let me see if I can show you an image. There's the camera, there's the lighting. Okay. All right, so now that we've got it connected to the computer, what I'm going to do is I want to transfer it, and we are going to start taking a video. Now, the camera, or my computer, is actually recording this video. So as we go ahead and insert this thing into the chamber, you can see exactly what we're looking at. Now, there is the beginning of the lands. You can see right there. You can see some of the copper in there. Look at that. Now let me show you. With the rheostat, I can bring it up, or I can take the, the, the lighting all the way down. But I want to get it as bright as we possibly can, because it self-adjusts. So there's one landing. Let's go ahead and follow that land all the way down. And as we do, I'm having to kind of twist it. Because what I'm trying to do is, I want to see 
Well, I'm not going to be able to do that. <laughs> but uh, you can see that land right there. And as we get closer to the end of the barrel, we're gathering up some more copper. Wow, look at that. Huh. That's a carbon buildup right there on the uh, gas port. So well, that should disappear after we do a, we'll run it with a swab. Look at that. So one of the comments I made in the last video when we were looking at this barrel was I saw some uh, pitting, it looked like. But that was not pitting. What that was was it was a buildup of oil deposits, and it just looked like uh, some type of pitting, but it really wasn't. Pretty neat little tool. Now as we get towards the end of the barrel, we're going to see a little bit more buildup of copper. Make sure our uh, crowning looks good. But look how good this thing looks. The camera just does a great job. And you can see right here, that's the mirror, and this is the side of the barrel. Really, really neat stuff. That's kind of wild with that co that uh, carbon buildup at the uh, gas block. That's a small gas block, but we'll have to get that and clean it out. Look at that. Isn't that wild? That's crazy. All right, let's go ahead and pull that out. Okay, so anyway, uh, would I recommend this product? Yeah, I would. This is a huge tool. Uh, the Endo Snake is nice, but I believe this one's a lot better. Uh, well, let's see this real quickly. I don't know. We'll put the adapter on it. I'll go ahead and hook it up to my phone. Okay, so yeah, it does work with a, your uh, phone. So we can go ahead and bring it on in there. I prefer the computer, but yep, it will work with your telephone. And the image is just as good. Look at that. Whoa. All right, guys, well, that's it. This is the test long. I'll go ahead and put a link down below to the Amazon store if you're interested in buying something like this. Uh, I think for $49.99, that's a heck of a value and by far probably some of the best image that I've seen. So with that being said, uh, I can't wait to show you the before and after when we do the cleaning of the uh, PSA barrel because we're going to take it out and do some more testing. And then we got to take these two rifles out and do some side-by-side -side comparisons. Will a $750 rifle compete with a rifle that just didn't have a budget limit. Skoda Boy 32, sport of red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free, but I bet this thing was made in China. Skoda Boy 32, I'm out. Y'all take care.